Thanks for tuning in, guys. The Pest and Lawn Ginger, and this is my lawn. So it's been a couple of weeks, and I'd like to feel like we've made a ton of progress, but let's go to the rough cut of the lawn. That's right, guys. No filter, just hard work. You can see the stripes are still there. They're kind of fading. Um, I have put in a ton of iron in this thing, but excited about a couple of things. Overall, you'll notice the lawn is growing pretty even until we get to that section right here and i'm going to get on top of it so you guys can kind of see here but this is where i had the bulk of my shallow root issues and you can see it's actually growing um so that scarifier has done a fantastic job um, i'm gonna go over it again i just want to wait for a little bit get it out of this funk but you can see this little square right here having some issues but the color's fantastic it's growing and i have a new mystery dog in town big ned does not make this and this dog's got some urine from he double hockey sticks and i can't do anything about it um moving on to the backyard you can see though the front is fantastic now i kept it at one inch you guys gave me a fantastic idea i'm gonna run with it run with the mullet lawn whoever said that in the comments was a genius running the backyard two and a half three inches you can see the big difference here but the backyard it's looking good no more ned spots everything's pushing the way that i wanted to uh, the grass seed came in pretty strong i've got a few areas that are still a little thin that are still pushing but i've got grass seed growing there and it's going really really well now coming across to the backyard you can see i've uh, been playing with the watering and I've still got a ton of these spots, but I've got grass coming in and I'm pretty happy with it. And along these edges, you can see my little baby barren brug grass here, right here. It's coming. It's still real thin, <laughs> real, real thin. Now I love a good rough cut of the lawn because you can see this color though. It's popping. Now, a couple of changes I've made. I've been at one inch. I told you guys I was going to let the lawn grow out. And a couple of you guys mentioned having a mullet lawn short in the front, party in the back. So I decided to run with it. I think it's a great idea. But biggest difference is I'm actually supplementing micros and iron weekly. Um, I don't think that there's really any other way of doing it, especially since I'm bagging the grass. As you can see, it's really, really happy. I'm also going to change putting an eighth of a pound to a quarter pound of nitrogen or a granular with nitrogen, phosphorus, potassium. I really like that Pro-Pete 1358 that I've been using and I'm doing that every two weeks and then my micros. Uh, I know a lot of you guys out there using the RGS, which is totally fine. Uh, I am actually using the Humigrow products. And then in the backyard here, I'm only touching this every four to five weeks. Really don't have to do much since I'm not removing much and I'm not cutting it and scarring the top of it and causing it to stress out. So a little bit of hard work, boom, it's looked like a sheet of carpet. But the one thing I miffed about, let's take a look at it. Now I posted this on Instagram, but every time I mow my lawn, I'm losing color and it's been getting very frustrating. So I took a real close up pick and you can see I'm tearing the top of the grass every time I mow and then it has to come out of this funk. I've got two choices. Number one, I can get a different mower or I can simply just sharpen my blades. Sharpening of the blades is much easier than finding a real mower at this point, but you guys are convincing me. I'm just trying to figure out which real mower I'm actually gonna end up buying and purchasing. I'm between the uh, John Deere, the Toro, and the Swordman. Haven't really figured out which one I want to see. Comment below which one you feel like the ginger should buy. All right, guys, before the mow, let's go sharpen that blade, shall we? And see if I have better luck on this next cut. Just a couple of dudes hanging out. Me and Taylor from Green Grounds. Got Freddie in the background. What's up? What are we doing? I'm just looking at my tank. Got to take off the side. All right, looking at tanks, that's what we do. My blades suck. Suck. Well, I've been mowing my lawn at one inch and my uh, my grass is kind of pissed off. <laughs> I mean, sure. So the frustrating thing is like, I don't feel like these looked dull. Yeah. Well, I've got some dull ones here. You can see how they... But like, mine were brand new, right? They didn't look yeah. dull. There was no real cracks in them. Yeah. 
I mean, but I mean, how often should you get these changed? Um, as a homeowner, we we do it about four, every forty houses for our commercial guys. Forty so. cuts, but what do you, what's recommended? Yeah. I'd say twice a year, so thirty-two cuts a year, so every fifteen it would be best. Every fifteen, yeah, that's Woo! what I do. I'm gonna be down here a lot, Taylor. Mm -hmm. Come on down. <laughs> Suspense. Is great. Take a stick of that. Look at that. Professionally sharpened by a machine. That's right. Amazing. I'll tell you what, Taylor does a fantastic job sharpening these blades. I mean, look at that, man. They are real thin at the very tippy top. Sharp. Now, there's a couple extra things that I want to remind you guys at home. In the front yard, I am mowing every other day to every third day to keep the color and the consistency and less stress on the lawn. Now the backyard is much more simple. I've got it anywhere between two and a half and three inches at any given time. I'm only mowing about every five days. Uh, I really just don't like taking more uh, than anywhere between a quarter and a half inch off the top of my Kentucky Blue just to keep it happy. Uh, fingers crossed these sharper blades will make the biggest difference. Because if they do, I'm probably going to end up sharpening my blades every 15 to 20 mows just to keep them super sharp. Now, I got prices from a lot of the reputable guys around town. Most of them were charging anywhere between 10 and 15 bucks to sharpen blades. Um, they were using a very similar machine that Taylor's using. I've got a link in the description to that uh, grinder. It does a fantastic job and it's heavy duty. Well, proof is in the pudding. That was the fix, man. Dull blades. They didn't even look dull. That's the funny thing. But, man, it's popping. Let's get up on this see what it looks like. Got to say I'm super stoked about this color. Still coming off of that melting out fungus. Uh, it's going really well. But um, let's examine the tips here. And they're definitely not as bad as last time. Um, it looked like a paper shredder was going at my grass so I, i'm really happy with this but man it's all about the quality guys i just don't feel like i can stay at this height being about one inch and get the cut quality i want with my rotary motor so about every seven to 14 days i do an iron treatment at the low rate of the rapture 404 by simplot that i've been using i'm also supplementing with my uh humigro max pack and i'm doing that for a couple of reasons the micros are also going to supplement the iron from taking too much nitrogen the thing i like about the rapture though is it already includes the nitrogen in it and the micros that it's going to rob now once it starts getting hot and this is what a lot of you guys are starting to pick up on is that you get a lot of stress dormancy that happens during heavy heat with Kentucky bluegrass and the shorter you mow, the higher potential you have for this to go into uh, heat stress dormancy. So supplementing with the, mac uh, the micros um, is really going to help keep it boosted. Uh, if you guys have any questions or concerns, hit me up in the comments. Don't mind helping you guys out. Until next time guys, the best of luck.